Hi, welcome to Culture of Pain. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at what's caught our eye over the last couple of weeks in the miniatures painting world. For our main topic, we're going to be chatting about what the state of heresy is like two years after launch and why we're loving it. And we'll close out the show, as usual, taking a look at what the paint cultists have been up to. Now, Culture of Paint's aimed at a mature audience. We might use explicit language and discuss adult themes. So let's talk about paint. And we are back in, I did hope. We are? We're yeah, live? Yeah, we're in? We're, yeah. Good, we're back. Right. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Henry, and joining me, as usual, are Matt, Andy, and Rich. Hello, chaps. How are we doing? Hello. Hello. We good. How are we? We're Just well. looking at heresy, mate. I know. It's <laughs> exciting times. Uh, hence, the, hence the video. Um, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, kind kind of where a lot where a lot of us met as well. So something something close to our hearts, but it just feels like there's a little bit of swell in in various regions at the minute. Um, so I thought it'd be good to take a look. And I can't really believe it's been two years since we saw it as well. Um, since really? since second head dropped, yeah. pretty long. Wait, right. what? Uh -huh. We saw. I, I'm pretty yeah, sure we saw it at Adepticon, didn't we? Twenty two. Oh, so, yeah, that's and, when well, they showed the, a few the amazing before. trailer, right? Yeah, because we'd had that that leaked box image, hadn't we, since about Christmas. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. Christmas, Christmas that year. Um, but yeah, so I uh, thought we'd have a chat about that. But as usual, we'll take a look at what's been out and about the last few weeks on the various uh, social medias and whatnot. Um, I don't think we're going to talk about those reveals that GW did recently. I wasn't planning on. Um, Safe to say, nice stuff. Yes, the gnomes are Dark Oath are great. The end. Um, Dark Oath of Yeah, so <laughs> I think I'll probably badger. probably mention them when we uh, when they actually release. Um, because I get completely bamboozled now with the whole preview, then the preview of the pre order, and then the pre order, and then the several weeks sort of miniatures around hype. and stuff. Um, I love a bit of hype. Don't get me Especially wrong, I really do. It's it's more like yeah, sometimes. I just I just forget things aren't out, or I assume things have been out for months and they haven't even been released and things like that. So. To be fair, there is sometimes a bit of a delay. You'll get things in like box sets, and then you go to buy. Like I did it with the the shooty dread with the last cannon and missile launcher. I would assume that had been out for months and months <laughs> and months, but it was actually fairly recent. It's mad, isn't it? Um, Although, I tell you what, though, always make sure as when they when they bring out those big box uh, like single packs of things, makes you realise that you you do need to pick that shit up on eBay. Um, early early doors because mm. just feel like a right muppet paying some of the modern prices for them. <laughs> oh. Yep, but I'm going through that experience right now. <laughs> oh, nice! What you've been doing? Oh, Shermanators. Well, I no, I bought a Land Raider, uh, which is 25 years old now. I didn't realise that it was made in '99, and I've paid a fortune for it. I, was like, <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah ancient yeah, kit good investment that kit eh? um right what's up what's a couple of these picks let's have a look so first up is oh i am on slides why isn't it working matthew are you on the the link the, the actual live link or the preview link that i sent you? you know what let's just <laughs> let's just wing it i've looked at him enough times i'm pretty sure it's my pick isn't it the pink yeah, cities one pick. yeah love it um, and tell you what, the YouTube thing will have caught up in a minute. I can just watch it on there. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, say, I keep saying we're seeing more and more of the city stuff. Um, now it's in people's hands and, 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 and people are getting really stuck in. And I just thought this was a really, really lovely um, take on it all. It's an account I've enjoyed for, for a long time anyway. Um, we'll make sure we pop all the accounts down uh, in the description once the video is done as well. It's unbelievable. Go and, go and follow them. But it's just, I don't know, I just think it's lovely. Um, you don't mm. think too often uh, on minis, and particularly outside of, say, Slaneshi stuff either. Um, so I think, True. I think really nice. I think the face looks amazing. It's fantastic. Um, mm. It's just got everything. Yeah. All the right vibes for me. That that's how I would love to paint my my Warhammer stuff. That. Is that a freehand bat symbol, or is that one mm -hmm. of the transfers it comes with? No, it's a, a freehand oh, bat. That's wicked. <laughs> the the profile's amazing. Yeah, it's really, got... really good. Yeah. yeah. They've got a amazing um, Squig Rider, an Orc and Goblin army that looks like it must have taken them about a million years to paint. So the oh, profiles are really helps good. If I change the thing across, doesn't it? Uh, change, change what thing across? People can't see what we're looking at. 
Oh, nice. Well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> slick, slick, slick. Oh, genius um, level. It's a, it's a pink city, it's a Sigma model with a flashing bat on their shield. Um, so I think that's pretty much described it for you. I think we've got that now. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a brilliant account to follow. They've got, I mean, years worth of stuff uh, up on them. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely. I'm tired. Definitely worthwhile. <laughs> As you see, the chat being nice and understanding. Oh. Um, so we're all right. Maybe they're purple orcs. I don't get that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's my pick. Uh, what about the next one? Fantastic. So, given the topic of the thing. Yeah, nice. Mm, yeah. Tasty. But this does have to come with like a preface. Like, mm -hmm. This is the definition in my mind of like trust the process. Was <laughs> they were going to most of it at the very start. Yeah, 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 that. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> so to go from that to that, I'm just like, yeah, Sadly. that is the definition of yeah, just keep keep those oils going. It'll get good in it. <laughs> nah, oh. it's lovely, and I tell you what, as much of a fucker as those plastic leviathans are to put together um it's certainly a lot more fun posing them mm. uh, i don't know whether this one is plastic to be honest with you but i'm um, um, just saying like it's, it's it was definitely nice having having done a bunch of the resin ones uh, it was a jump plastic. ahead it was nice to nice to get them in plastic mm. but i did not did not care for the assembly mm. oh, there's always that. a bit of me that that would, would fancy a death guard army you know painted oh, like 100%. This. 100%. Just it's, so much fun. Did one it's once. the one. It's the one, mate. I, I think it's... Before we got to second edition, and it became sort of... The Imperial Fists became yeah. sort of ultramarines of, of heresy second ed. That's, that's sort of... Every, every you know, man and his dog's got ultra got um, Imperial Fists. And and to a degree, uh, the Sons. Um, for me, I, I think Death Guard... I feel were, about Sons of Horus. Were, ...were real... real big one for me for heresy mm. first edition i feel like they set the tone so well they were in book so, were they book so, one i think so i think they were in betrayal um, so many people had a death oh they would have been a death guard yeah, army they would have been it's just uh, yeah right good color scheme yeah it's just fun man just literally paint it white or off-white and then drown it in oils and enamels what's not yeah. to like i mean yeah. like, and then he's right i did paint one once and it was really tempting to do more of them but <laughs> alas I I, think I said this... that's amazing. Do some more, and you were like, "Nah." <laughs> what are you saying, man? <laughs> I, I think like this is. I do love Death Guard. Yeah. Like, I might have to to do something like this. Just go crazy with oils. Yeah, like, if, it's, a great, um, again, it's a great scheme in it to do it on. Um, if Mark Two ever come out, tempting. Well, we'll see. You've already got one sticking out the top of a tank, mate. That'll do. <laughs> um, just give him some tentacles for legs. Put yeah. him in a dustbin like Oscar the Grouch and just have him have him as a single piece. Yeah, that's true. Counts as a lot Yeah, exactly. You love accounts, <laughs> as, don't you? I fucking love I love accounts, as, especially because of how much it pisses people off. Yeah. Me. Pisses Mostly me how much off. it pisses Andy off. Like, oh, this is this. No, it's, it's not. not. It's not okay. It's like, it's well, not it, is okay. it, it, oh, it is to me. No, it's not. So, well, yeah, it is. There's, within reason. Some, some counts as I'm okay with. But when it's really like miles away, it's just oh, what? just fucking sort your life out. Oh, so if um, I was to do if I, I was to do like, like an uh, an Alpha Legion army that uses that used the the rules for the sneaky space marines from the forty k codex, that wouldn't be okay. That's all right. If you now, want to okay. do let's move on from it. your guys gaming gaming domestic. <laughs> um, before we jump into main topic, I just wanted to touch in Matt Andy, how are you guys getting on with uh, GD? Got a couple of weeks to go, <laughs> eh? Really good. Terrible. <laughs> Easy, mate. Like I said, first time ever I've written it down. Good. And uh, it's doable. I've got eight things to do, and I did one today, seven to go. Easy. But no, okay. it'll be fine. I'll finish. Oh. So. I'm just filling yeah. the blunderbuss of all the old shit. Nice. I'm, I'm oh, doing one man. of those. I'm being Don't do really that. crap. Don't do that. <laughs> It's not big it's, and it's, it's not clever. I know it's not, but it, at least there'll be yeah. something in the case. Do it. Do it. Take it. 
No, Ooh. it's sad. It was some, sh- something will be in there, but maybe you can do it. <laughs> we believe in you. Plus, you've got a bunch of great shows later in the year to go to as yeah. well, right? Um, so you've got them to look for. Not GD UK, obviously, but, um, you know, a bunch of good ones. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Let, relax hey. a bit more. Oh, again, uh, people keep asking about MPO. Um, we haven't really said much about it. That's because it sold out in like 36 hours. Um, so we don't really know what to say about it. But spoke to the venue yesterday. Everything's looking great. We're going to measure up for the bespoke stuff uh, next week, which is cool. Um, we'll have an announcement about the judges, I think, out this week. Is that the plan, Matt? Yeah, this one this one coming. Good to do the much judges. Uh, and then we'll talk to you guys a little bit about the handful of sort of extra bits that we're putting mm-hmm. on for this uh the one this year uh, and actually start talking about next year's pretty soon too um so yeah for those of you who keep asking thanks very much um we will put out an faq for it but to be honest there's been like two questions so either we did the job well or more likely nobody's really read anything um and isn't going to worry about asking till like a week beforehand <laughs> uh, i imagine so also, it will be uh, fine we'll look after you don't worry if you just, get five minutes go just try don't bring all your friends <laughs> Yes, that's a great shout. Matt, say that again. So if you get five <laughs> minutes, uh, try to go break the entry form. The link's in the Discord. I'll Maybe yeah. we should get a proper channel just for the website or something. Yeah, it's a good call. We'll do that. So we're, we're setting up the uh, the pre, the sort of pre-reg element. Most of it, of it works. Um, so yeah, be great. We'll get it done uh, nice and early. Right, main topic. Right, hey, hold on, hold on my pick. Oh, I'm sorry, Rich. Mate, I'm you really, really sorry. Prick. In my head, I was like, Andy hasn't done a pick. Let's get on with it. I'm really sorry. Um, Shocking. And it's a great pick. Uh, we did briefly say that we'll probably speak about all this sort of new stuff at a later date, but it was the only thing that popped up for me that I really, really liked. I love a warband slash kill team slash little group of people. And uh, I realized one, especially the guy with the lantern and the dude wielding the dual pistols. Well, that is um, Callis and Toll. So that's a good, good thing. They're your two favorite there you ones. Go. Got our, um, our man Callis and what's his name? Hanover Toll. I have no idea what that means, but designed <laughs> by Tom Hughes. Shout um, out to Tom Hughes. The, the, the basically design. witch witch hunters, the or the equivalent ah. of in uh, in AOS. So there was a a sort of novella came out. Um, I don't know, a couple of years into into AOS. Um, mm. It was written by one of the guys, I think, who did Nick Horth, who did like, um, like color pieces for codexes and stuff, right? But he did like you know color text, but he did a he did a full novel, and it was kind of the first thing that we'd seen for AOS that that looked at just the normal people in the cities, mm-hmm. um, and I think straight away just because of that, it 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 made a big difference for a lot of people because it. We're starting to get that. Oh, okay. So that's what it's like. Yeah. Um, it's it, it just it gives very sort of for people of a certain vintage like Mordheim vibes. Absolutely. With it. Uh, I mean, ignore the idiot in the gold armor. Um <laughs> the rest of it is and do you want a little <laughs> thing that I that I love about it? And it's gonna be a really anal little thing, but I love the size of the pistols. They've actually sort of started yeah. to get them somewhere near like a a, a real more realistic size. Yeah. yeah. I love the bases. And yeah. uh, and one yeah. of the best Necromunda models out this year so far as well, uh, on the left there. Yeah. Um, so it's no, it, it's it's cracking, man. You you look at the look at that sort of as you're saying the warband elements that you've got now. Um, mm. You know these aren't the only ones. You've got that Underworlds one. You've got that uh, the Van Dents, obviously that Andy did the um, his GD entry with a few years ago. You've got the <laughs> Curse City crew. Yeah. Um, I think it's just the human element, like Warband. The, what's the, the the Cities of Sigma one? That's it's Warcry. That was yeah. like it's like the ones with the dogs. Yeah. And like that, I saw that in Warhammer World last weekend, and I saw it in in, in person first. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I, I believe it. they've done rules for Episode all of those ones soon. we've mentioned um, for uh, for the various skirmish games. So they've got rules for a Warcry. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They've got rules for things like that, which is again yeah. just super fun, and it, it's definitely. It's just it's only positive, isn't it? Um, yeah. This direction, this this, this choice. Um, yeah. So I think the you know, the more the more we see of it, the better. And you know, if the dark oath are gonna be fleshed out a bit more as well, that's amazing. You know, it's it's we we chatted about it, didn't we, in the cities of Sigma episode? Really, just that that importance of what are the normal people like? Mm. Um, 
and but i love as well that you've got those those age of sigmar elements to it you've got the griffhound there you know you've got the 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 warden or whatever he is the key key dude um you know so it's 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 that's its identity it's not just generic fantasy it's no. starting to develop its own mm. own look and identity which i think is cool and, and important it, it just gives it also makes me gives me massive like D D vibes and some oh, sort yeah. of like uh you know like narrative campaign you could do with a little squad of dudes and i just yeah that sort of thing massively appeals yeah absolutely um, so yeah super cool um right now we can move on now that i'm not really rude, rude and and uh and not do it people we haven't got a meme have we, we? do have a meme oh my god i'll just i'm off <laughs> i'm off i got I, I got a meme last last minute the, my favorite meme ever teach me to check the slides hour. at lunchtime when it is uh come on let's have a look i haven't seen this one yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah accurate <laughs> nice this yeah. this is especially for the for the heresy crew on our Mark Three YouTube video comment section. <laughs> oh, I know they did enjoy that one, didn't they? Um, uh, what, why did yeah. they hit the Mark Three? <laughs> um, no, it's it was, changed. It, it, it was ah. it was more the the, the sort of uh, I don't think they enjoyed the fact that that other people did like it. Oh, that's a whole new level. Like if you don't like it, fair enough. If you <laughs> if you, dis if you dislike the fact that other people no, like it, you are like, having whole... fun incorrectly. Yes. Um, so that's the yeah. <laughs> doesn't adhere to my view of the world. <laughs> but uh, but that's I mean I guess in a way that's one of the reasons I wanted meme. to wanted to talk about uh, wanted to talk about this. Uh, that's a great meme, though, mate. Spot on. Um, right. I'm not going to say we're moving on. Someone Still else laughing. can. If we're actually ready to move on, let's do it. Main topic. To Defo. Yep. Yes. Mm. Yeah, there we are, Brian F. The font of positivity in the chat there. Mark III reboot was awful. Was uh, it? So, was it, was it really main cool? topic time. <laughs> uh, as Gil says, <laughs> nah, they're freaking awesome. And that's the kind of sort of gritty, you know, granular discourse that we're here for um, with it. Yes, yeah, sure. no. I'm right. Fuck no, off, you yes, anchor. No. They're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so heresy second edition two years two years in way more horace um i think um no so the reason we wanted to chat about uh, it was it certainly feels like the the second year particular or the latter half of the second year of it we're seeing a lot more stuff that seems to be kind of defining the aesthetic now for uh, heresy second edition uh, it felt like to begin with it was kind of just vehicle after vehicle after vehicle that was generally what we'd already seen um so whilst mm. it was cool having it in plastic there wasn't really anything new uh, to look at and particularly towards the end of first edition we started to get a handful of character models from uh, forge world that that just weren't the same design uh language if you however you want to say it um but then they were quite incongruous, I think, at the time. But now they feel like they fit right in. Um, mm. So I just, yeah, really just wanted to chat chat our way through where 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 we are with the various sort of high points uh, from these years, and then maybe take a look at what we were looking forward to coming. But obviously, this this big lad kind of set the uh, kind of set the tone. Um, I always forget this model's a thing. Incredible model. It's insane. If you could go back to remember when we did Terrace the first time. If you could go back to the old versions of us, like, like you know, slightly less grey hair, etc., and show them this, would have blown our minds. <laughs> but it's, again, it's that it's you blew know, my mind the, when it came out. Not, none of none of this is meant to be the oh, I didn't love the first edition heresy stuff. Absolutely, it did. Was there from before? Was there bad ab before we'd had heresy and everything? It was all amazing. As is second edition, and second edition is different. Um, and I think this guy kind of epitomizes right because that first edition Horace was a, a, an outstanding model. He was nearly always in people's top three um, Primark models, wasn't he? And he was one mm. of the first, you know, that we got. Um, and yeah. well, the, the cool thing about that is it's the same sculptor, and it shows what had you know his improvements, but also the tools he's able to use mm. because Simon Egan has has switched to. I know at one point he went from using CAD and TRAD, 
uh, and Will Hayes would do weapons and he would hand sculpt over the top. So there was a combo for a while before. I don't know if he's 100% um, CAD now, but I assume that this is this Horus uh, is 100% uh, CAD. Um, so it's just nice seeing him. 100% uh, he's Chad, amazing. Mate. So absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's, and, uh, we so got what's cool his name? Fulgrim as well, isn't it? Fulgrim, mm. I guess, is the other big. Um, although he's, he's kind of a bit different because he's, he's he's so far so far from that original but same sculptor doing the same face mm. and i think he really wanted redemption for that face i think i seem to remember talking to him about about it and he said he wasn't super happy with the full grim face um i think he showed me another another sculpt of it actually like different one i can't remember you know when there was the the horse heresy days he'd had these little books uh open and stuff like that mm, yeah, yeah yeah um absolutely and i think there were i think there were some other options for fulgrim so and i think that fulgrim face on the new one is unbelievably good so you know fair play and i think it's really nice to you know make a fairer comparison same character same sculptor and just seeing the progress in in miniature design right Mm -hmm. definitely someone's asking the chat where johnson's saying do we think any of the others need a glow up i i don't necessarily think it's a glow up but i would love to see the second edition take on all of them and and they don't and that doesn't necessarily mean the um the de the demonification of them you know i, I would love to see another take on angron before he ascended and stuff um mm -hmm. you know I, I, think, I think they i think they angron's all... Sorry, I think I'm delayed, mate. I, I That's think, right, mate. I don't go know on. if it's still delaying. But you go I was just going to say Angron was the first Primark model, mm. and I actually think the design is incredible. Uh, the pose is super fantastic, and it was at a time where there weren't many dynamic poses, and that running pose for Angron is beautiful, and I'd love to just see that. Um, mm. Yeah, a new Angron. I think he's he's brilliant, just a little bit small. Yeah, abs absolutely. Um, and then, you know, we're starting here with the the biggest models, kind of. And but you know, you're playing heresy. The fact that the Primarchs, well, I suppose 40k, you know, you've got Primarchs. But the point, I mean, you've got more Primarchs in 30k, um, and uh, so it's uh, it'd be remiss not to not to bring them up. But you know, oh, as, as how are you as uh, how are you guys just just in a sort of one or two sentences, especially given the last six months or what we know is coming up over the the next few months how are you guys feeling about about heresy now because it was there was a slow ish start to it i think because we were previous uh collectors of it so as i said mm -hmm. with the plastic tanks it wasn't really new for us um what about you rich how you been feeling about it i love it it's it's i don't really have a problem with the development of the and the change within the arm arm that sort of uh D like design and stuff i love the size creep so you know the fact that they are mm. a bit bigger now so they don't look like like diddy marines um and I, yeah the fact that we get it's still wild to me that because I've, I've actually painted them now it's still wild to me that we've got plastic spartans like that is actually <laughs> insane um and plastic knights and i think it's a brilliant thing I, I i generally can't see what is what's bad with it like honestly i i don't see any negative in it the, the fact, even just to the point that the plastic kits are loads cheaper, so it's more accessible for people, so more people have the opportunity to play it. Because if you think back to when we did, especially when we did Aries the first time, before like the Mark IV plastic came out or whatever it was that mm. came out first, Heresy was such a, like, you, unless you were willing to drop, you know, 150 quid on a squad of 10 Space Marines, it wasn't accessible for for, for a lot of people. And, you know, this this box, when it That's came out... That's what made you a better person. Wow. Well, this box when it came out was what like 150 quid or something like that uh, less than i think the one that, that yeah. we got 120 in, in, 125 125, um, 125. Yeah. it's the start of an army if you bought this and the last one you know 230 250 quid you've got a bloody decent yeah, size yeah, army, army. Play with. well this this slide i think is a good example so the, the two uh, i think that the armor marks is where we're we're really starting to see that aesthetic changing mm. um i have i've chosen not to show the mark six that was redone with the the original launch simply because as lovely as it was um it was pretty faithful to everything we knew as mark six um but i think we started to see it with possibly with some of the upgrade uh kits we were getting the helmets mm. and things like that but for me 
certainly with the, the plastic mark three which came out i think late last summer something like that this was the big moment for, for myself i think it i'm firmly in the camp of i love it um mm. I, I i like all of it everything about it there's nothing i don't like about it i did like the old style mark three wedge um helmet absolutely mm. um but i also really like the helmet that we've got uh, on this one and i think for me the it feels more and more like they are drawing from those that heresy combat card game that that was republished in the visions of heresy books um it feels like a lot of that take on on the various marines and the things that are coming has has been pulled in uh, to where they're going with the design on stuff and and, and i'm a huge fan uh, hmm. of that you know it, it's different it's properly different um, but it also has a nugget of of nostalgia if you call it that whatever you maybe you want to call it yeah. um to 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 that um and and i think it's the the mark three more i mean just to the best of my knowledge the only really divisive thing about the mark six kit was some people i oh, can't put the shoulder pad together well yeah uh, so you end up with these big gaps but then <laughs> to be <laughs> fair you, you see that with with a, a lot of the tanks i've, I've heard people uh, sort of uh, talking about the, the pros and cons of the plastic tanks and the way it's interesting they mentioned it in a design article this week <coughs> sorry excuse me about how they've um oh, i can't think what the word is now but where they cut the cut the corners of um of, of turrets and things so that they glue together like that so you get a sharp mm. edge and stuff um and it has meant that on a lot of the tank kits if you're not if you don't take your time to assemble oh, yeah. them well well they don't, they don't you see a lot of them with a gap mm. um down down there um which i'm not found but then you know equally i can't think of <laughs> i can't think of one fire raptor or storm eagle i ever saw that was remotely straight um you know and and when we move on to talking about solar later i mean the state of every single dracosan uh, even the the two out of a hundred i saw were probably legitimate forge world were actually you know that the was still wonky um mm. with, with all the bits so i think for me on the whole that shift to plastic has, has definitely been a been, been a positive but the 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 challenge with the actual design itself didn't really rear its head i think until we saw saw the mark three kit uh, and then soon after of course the mark six assault kit yeah mm. which is uh yeah which i know you're a fan of andy right yeah i think for me with heresy there's two two things i'll want to talk about and i think both the mark six and the mark three have been growers for me where there's something like the new terminators and scouts of 40k i was like yep spot on straight away uh and i wasn't a lover or a hater of the mark three and six when they first got shown i was like yeah they're fine but actually over time i've grown to appreciate them um especially building the mark six and and looking at them in hand uh, I think, you know, they're, they're nicer than Primaris. And I think if I was going to do a 40k army, I'd love to do, you know, Mark VI Blood Angels because it would feel like Rogue Trader-esque or something mm. like that. Um, so, yeah, I think they're both fantastic uh, and they're, they're really grown on me. But they are my least favorite marks. So I guess what's mm. stopping me doing more heresy is they haven't really done my favorites, uh, which are Mark four and five. Uh, and I love two as well. So they've, they've literally done my least favorite first. So, um, <laughs> I really, really, I want Mark four the most, um, for, uh, a bad project. And I'd love Mark five, uh, for my sons of Horus. And I'd probably, probably like to do some new Mark five and finish the sons of Horus project. But, uh, yeah, I think they're sleeper kits and I understand why people were uh, annoyed with the change in helmet style if you're used to it personally i didn't love the old mark three helmet i thought it was okay um but yeah I'm, I'm impartial i guess but i think it's really exciting how well they've done mark six and the assault marines are amazing but i'm just waiting for other marks and then i want really really sure, to do uh, sure. more of these guys do you think they're going to change? Because are you worried? Because this is like a bit of a worry for me. Because the Mark IV lid was so it's perfect in my opinion. It's the best looking Space Marine helmet, pretty much. Are you worried about them exactly, them yeah. changing it like they did the Mark III? 
Uh, yeah, well, I am. Um, <laughs> the Mark V apoth. I mean, I, I didn't want to skip ahead, but the yeah, Mark we'll, v we'll we'll jump on to yeah, Mark, Mark V and stuff in a bit. Um, let's let's pick that up again. I don't in a like minute. that helmet. Yeah, let's pick it up again in a minute when we um <laughs> when, when 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 we look at the resins that we're getting. Um, Matt, have we got a couple of the Mark VI slides? Yeah, so um, Sick. I pulled I oh, pulled these from a community article they did where they got the studio staff to do their own. And actually, uh, this one here, the World Eaters one, is done by someone called Luke, uh, who I think is absolutely smashing it at the moment um, with the stuff he's painting for them. He's done a brilliant Chthonian Headhunters uh, solar stuff in, in a recent article as well. But the the Mark VI... <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough in the minute. Um, I, I don't, you know, I, I think we have to, to a degree with the show, um, make assumptions or draw, 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 you know, make, make, make assumptions with things. But for me, knowing that Andy Hoare is the, the boss now of, you know, her heresy second ed and knowing or the, 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 the amount that he talks about his love of a certain era of Warhammer miniatures, uh, you've got the dark angels here mm. done by, done by Les as well. I think it's done a, done a mega job. Um, I, as someone, as I say, who was a, a huge fan of that Visions of Heresy book, I wasn't around for the card game, but I, I got the first collected Visions book, and and just poured poured over it because it was it was all we had at, at, at the time was that book. Um, I'm not surprised that they went with Mark VI as the the initial post one because it, it is maximum nostalgia. You know, it's RBT01, isn't it? Um, Marine. That's what I yeah I think. Um, and then. But I was surprised they went with Mark VI Assault Marines. Um, and because, again, a completely different design to what we'd seen. And I think it was challenging for, for a lot of people initially who had these preconceived ideas of what heresy looked like. Um, but I think now we're able to say, well, that's what heresy first edition looked like. You know, mm. just as 40K second edition had a look that was different to Rogue Trader. Well, so, let's say third edition certainly had a different look to Rogue Trader. Um, you know that there was there was a different look to heresy before the game was ever a thing. And, you know they they chose some designs. You know the designs that we saw in in first edition were drawn from elements of you know very very early miniatures from the the eighties and the artwork from those cards and stuff. But you know the the, the Mark IV helmet I think is uh, the roundabout thing I was going to talk to with it is. I don't think it's going to be the same as first mm. edition. Uh, having looked at all the takes on it in Visions of Heresy, I think it's going to look cool. Um, but I, I do agree with you, Rich. Like, I think I will find that one the hardest. Um, I thought I'd find Mike, Mark V harder because that's my favourite Mark of Armour. But I think Mark IV, as, as you say, Rich, I think probably mm. was the iconic look. And, and you kind of feel that GW agree with that because they kind of made the Primaris one look, look a bit like it, didn't they? Um. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be. It's, it's exciting. I think it's exciting. But then I enjoy change, so I guess I'm not a war gamers. Don't. Yeah, me yeah. too. I guess I'm not. A, I'm See not the a, meme. Refer to um, the meme. <laughs> yeah, refer to earlier meme. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this so this was the second the second plastic uh, troops kit that we got. Um, well, sorry, third plastic troops kit that we got so we had normal mark six then we had normal mark three and then we had assault mark six um so really now starting to to flesh out what armies of infantry you know, of second edition style uh, are going to be looking like um but alongside all these plastic hits we've been seeing a slow trickle not just of special character miniatures so uh, legion specific praetors and whatnot um but we're now starting to see the second edition of uh, key um, consoles, so you know, Siege Breaker, uh, Apothecaries. Um, have we seen the Tech Marine yet? No, I don't think we have. Have we seen the mm. Siege Breaker um, and uh, the Librarian, Lisa Terrorist, all these ones? So uh, I think the next slide, Matt. Yeah, here we go. The, the Apothecaries. Firstly, I think they look amazing, They're but also very excitingly, they look fantastic. Here's Mark V. Yeah, boy, that Mark V yeah. armor comes out is going to be so good. So we had a big, but big old natter about this helmet. one, right? Didn't we? Because of the helmet, because of the lid. Yeah. yeah is it yeah. the angle, though? Yeah. 
No, Don't know. It's the eyes are further back and the snout's longer, and it's a subtle mm. change, but it's I prefer the older look because it's that more evil looking snout, you know. It does look a bit strange, doesn't it? I, but again, it's I'm grown okay on me. Um, Change the helmets. It, it's it's tough, particularly you know, getting back into the hobby around the time of Badab. You had things like the Carcharodons, you know, Mark Mark Five mm. on them. You had the Mark Four on the Red Scorpions. You know, that's going to be tough <laughs> to to get out of um, that look. Uh, I think. Yeah, it's going to be tough, man. It just doesn't look evil. doesn't look a traitor helmet, this one. Do you know what I mean? Whereas Mark V always felt like a really cool traitor mark. Oh, really? Um, okay. I think. Okay. But as this one looks like a bit loyalisty helmet. It's a subtle thing, but um, yeah, I would, I'd love to do World Eaters with Mark V. And if, if the helmets look like this, they're too, they're too happy, these helmets. Too smiley. <laughs> so I'd have to... Uh, do yeah. what you did, Henry, and cut off the bunny ears. Off. Off all those, there's uh, there's also, of course, the element, mate, that, that this is an apothecary helmet, Mark V helmet, so it may well be slightly different mm. um, exactly. to, to, yeah. to what we see. Um, but again, I, th I'm very, I think I'm now very much in the camp of looking forward to what we're going to see rather than mm. being anxious about it. That VQ um, apothecary is amazing. It's outstanding, right? Like, it's yeah. just cool. I want these. Um, yeah, and I great paint jobs. Really want them. Yeah. Like yeah. great box art paint jobs. Are they how I'd paint my heresy stuff? No. But for a box art, for, for a company, you know, that's as big as they are. And I think th this was one note I had written down is it, it feels a lot more now like heresy is very much a mainline game. Mm. Um, and it is being treated that way in, mm. in every sense of sense of the word. Um so yeah, very, very, very exciting. I think that Mark V is quality. Did I, did I do a, did I some character slides after this? I can't remember, but I did. Sorry. So this is another Mark, a Mark V. It's a chunk um, of Mark V. Slightly, yeah, slightly weird. You've got a, so this is a, a, a special character in the game. Um, he's super chunky. I mean, he's basically the biggest space marine there ever was. Yeah. Um, hence why he might look slightly ridiculously huge. Um, Third party. But, uh, you know, <laughs> That's right. Uh, Look at the size of his calf. He's he's gigantic. He's a, supposedly a a thunder warrior that that got turned into a oh really a world eater. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's cool. Um. So yeah. So I say we're, so again. This that was really just to show that we're getting another sort of take on Mark Five. You know, Mark Five being heresy armor um, was it kind of meant that anything could be Mark V. Basically, bang some studs on it um, and mix up a few parts, and that was what Mark V was. Uh, you know, Mark V didn't all look like the apothecary. You know, it wasn't mm. wasn't all meant, meant to be to be like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure on heart. I flip-flop between really thinking I'm going to have some fun doing something with him um, and the other side of me being like, oh, maybe that's not quite my cup of tea um but uh yeah i i'm i'm keen to pick him up um mm. and have a, have, a, have a look i do wonder if he'll be a little bit like the khan model was where a lot of people use that as a, a a base for their more sort of assault focused um Captain. you know champions or praetors or, mm. or whatever type of mini um so uh, yeah i would really like to see what our biggie is next to a primaris marine just as just for Curiosity. I'm I'm really keen. I'm really keen to see what size base he's on. Mm. Um because as I say, he's you know, he is in the in the backstories, you know, he is doesn't look like a 40, does it? Gigantic. I don't know. Hard to hard to tell. Hard to tell. Um but we'll... it's just got flares on, isn't it? He's got yeah, he's got big big old flares on him. Uh, hasn't he? But I think the character I was really keen to show was this guy. So I didn't yeah. include the art, but there's a little bit of artwork to go with this guy who is, and I think it's possibly my favorite bit of art from Second Dead so far. Um, but this is, uh, again, a, a really major character in the heresy that was, that's been there from the beginning. Uh, we never saw a miniature for him in first edition. Um, we've it? got one now. Uh, it's, um, oh my goodness, Tybalt Mar. So he was mm. one of the, one of the twin twins. Yeah. Um, but he, he basically, he, he was the one who was hunting Shadrach Medicine and all the mm -hmm. um, Shad Legion lads. So he was a, yeah. 
a pretty big character, pretty big baddie uh, in those series of series of books. Um, but the thing that the most exciting thing for me on this is here's your beautiful new Mark IV Praetor. Well, yeah. You know? I really like, want it. I really snip, want this snip one. Snip off sword, shave off eye on his on his greave. Now, what's his what's his wrist thing called? Van Brace? Yeah. That bit, his forearm. Um, and you've you've basically got yeah. a a beautiful, beautiful Mark IV Great champion cool. model. I reckon I could get a red scorpion decal on that chest plate. That's yeah, I reckon. I reckon. <laughs> now, one of the biggies with this guy, of course, is very often when we've been getting miniatures from them now, they've given us an unhelmeted head and a helmeted head. I wonder if this guy <gasps> has a helmeted head that we've not seen. And, and that, of course, will tell, us, will tell us what Mark IV might look like, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> but how good uh, How good are the legs? And, and they've changed the knee pad to be angular, not mm, round. That's the big one. So you've got, the, yeah. you've got a, a sharp angle on the knee pad. Um, yeah, that's a like nice that. little change, actually. Mm. Uh, no, Jonathan, they haven't shown I, a, a helmet fine. version for this, no. Mm. Um, uh, someone has said, it, said in the chat, <laughs> um, the heresy characters are primary size, certainly bigger than normal troops. Um, they are, and that's a, a design choice. Um, we had a chat with them at the, the launch day a few years ago, and they, they were deliberately making the character models bigger so that they stood out on the table. Um, so it had that kind of computer game feel when you you know when you glance at the table, um, which again is another another change. But I, I, you know I mm. I'm, I'm a fan. Um, so yeah, was, uh, this this model's got me proper excited. Um, Chomping at the bit, <laughs> it really has. And so I, to, to put this in context, I think I've read or listened to twenty heresy books in the last two months, mm. um, and I've got basically two months worth of heresy content coming for youtube so i'm i'm quite saturated at the moment with mm. it um but i'm very happy <laughs> about you know about all of that um so yeah it's this this is that might be why i'm slightly more excited than i would have been six months ago or whatever um w w with that so so yeah we've sort When's of this seen model out, you know um well he's he features in the the next book that 30k are getting um, which we've been told is coming soon. So I think we can just assume within the next probably month or two um, we I should start, start seeing them. In the audio, because I don't read them anymore, in the audio books mm. or the regular, obviously, the novels, yeah. have they got to the end of it yet? Yes. Well, so this was another note I had that I, I thought probably we'd talk about at the, at the end of it all. Um, but, we're, but of course, the one of the big things that, that Heresy First Edition had going for it was a wonderful black books from from forge world which were more like mm -hmm. historical you know um resource books but you also had this 50 60 plus long novel series um that has now finished uh mm. so mm. it will be very interesting to see what impact that has mm. um, what are they going to do next yeah i mean I, I certainly don't think it's going to be the last heresy book we see but it's you know it certainly is the end of the yeah of, of, the, of the progressive series so and yeah good, 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 give me interest to see how it how it keeps its own hype and everything going and stuff so mm. um yeah good conversion for that i think so i mean i can absolutely see people loving him as is i don't think he's a bad model as is at all i just think for me this is the i think this is the best character model we've seen so far from point of view of like like when we first got the character models in heresy first edition where everybody had to have the same one. So if you wanted a yeah, unique looking, uh, you know, boss, you had to get snip, snip, snip. Mm -hmm. um, and this guy just feels to me like I, I feel like you know three out of five people are probably buying this model to convert for their army. Yep. Um, so, um, I don't <laughs> I know how it. to pronounce your name in the chat, mate. Uh, so they haven't binned off the Heresy game models. In, well, no, quite, quite clearly not. Um, so, uh, if, if that's something you'd heard and, and good news, great success, it's not gone. It's still here, uh, still here to, uh, enjoy, uh, no, John, we're going to chat about the solar orcs, uh, next, I think. Oh my goodness. The white scar storms here. Yes. Sasha outstanding, um, mini that one. Super, super cool. Um, just be nice if they didn't sell out in 10 fucking seconds. So you could buy them. This is making me want to do heresy. I didn't predict this to be the outcome. <laughs> Yes, he would make a great Garrow base, on. I reckon, Red. Um, absolutely. Um, 
so yeah so so yeah so so before we move on guys so this is it how are we feeling and we've we've sort of seen at least one take now on every single armor mark um yeah co- co- sort of excited for where it's going with it all like you know, I, I know andy you and me have been talking about bad ab stuff and all that i, I you know i think for me it's we're, we're one more arm mark away from being able to pull the pull the trigger on bad ab um I mean, I'm yeah. starting bad ab as soon as Adepticon's <laughs> over, mate. But uh, <laughs> I, w- I really do want to finish the Sun to Horus. I really, I'm really happy with the color scheme. Um, but I just want, yeah, some more Mark V to come out. I don't want Mark IV for Sun to Horus, but yeah, maybe if Mark II and um, Mark V come out, I'd love to finish those. And Terminators as well, really. I did some Cataphracty with the resin ones, and they're just a bit meh, not so good. So, yeah. Mm. Um, Definitely want to finish the Sons of Horus or maybe just paint some minis for fun. Uh, but while waiting for that, crack on with the bad abs. Well, from yeah. a from a painting point of view, then, you know, we've we've all you know, every every fucker's painted a space marine. Um, but you know, we are we are kind of about painting. Have have any of the new miniatures got you excited about painting yet? Or is that starting to happen now? Um the- the yeah, new plastic vehicles it? have the new right. plastic vehicles have 100 percent got me because I, I love painting vehicles and walkers that's kind mm. of my my jam all really so yeah I, I painted the plastic spartan not too long ago for my blood angels it's merely for a 40k um army but yeah and it was incredible when i was painting it i couldn't get over the fact that I, like i said i was painting a plastic uh, mm. spartan and they were just, it was so lovely to build and paint. Um, so that really kind of got me hyped up for painting. Like I said, mostly the, the heresy vehicles. I, I want to do lots of heresy vehicles, but for my 40k army. But then, you know, there's also always the possibility that I could play a bit of heresy with them as well. Um, and seeing all these character models is making me want to paint a heresy model really well, if that makes sense. Rather yeah, than abs- just absolutely. Like, oh, mm-hmm. paint it. Absolutely. I think the, the Emperor's Children miniatures that we got sort of early on for me were a, oh. a, gl- a glimpse of a sort of what what the potential mm. uh, as well lucius um, yeah and and just their power on the praetor as well i just thought was was just mm. really really nice oh, um, the, the the old gas mask yeah <laughs> to be fair <laughs> that the, i've always i've kind of always been wanting an excuse to sort of dabble and do do some alpha legion again you know there's always there's always yeah. room for more alpha legion <laughs> um, so maybe worst legion, not the worst. best legion. I was going to say fuck off for the worst legion. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, enough of that. So uh, it's not just marines, although it's heresy. So if you don't like marines, you're, you're probably playing the wrong game. Um, it's not to say you can't be a heresy fan and not, and then, you know, and not play them. But uh, yeah, you're going to have a bad time if you're not a fan. Um, we've recently started seeing uh, and just gone on pre-order this week uh the solar auxilia mm. the normal men and women as it were of of the horrific 31st uh millennium oh just massive yeah. massive um for me on on par with the season sigma release for for why i'm a fan uh why i'm a age of sigma um, now I appreciate that solar already existed, and we knew them. Mm. But someone who always wanted to do solar, but simply could not afford to do it. Um, this is yeah, for this sure. is just massive now. Um, you know those those the imperial armor books you know, stuff we talk about all the time. Um, again, I think fantastic paint jobs uh, on these on these miniatures uh, from from the studio, mm. but. Mate, like you were saying, Rich, like the fact that there's just an army box out now for Solar Auxilia is just, it's just wild. Um, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, because um, it was yeah. it, even back when we did it the first time around. Obviously, we got plastic Mark Four and Mark Three. They were the first ones, weren't they? But Solar have always been resin the whole way through, and the whole yeah. way, you know, and <laughs> and uh, necessarily an expensive army because. Mm. You need you either need a lot of dudes or a lot of tanks, and neither oh, of them were cheap. Yeah, I think a full a full last section of and, twenty. And bad when you got them. You could have thirty yeah. lad thirty lads in a 
in a, in a, in a squad, yeah. Rifle and, tertia, yeah. And they're what, like 40 quid per unit or something like that? Oh, m- what, previously? Yeah, the Ruins m- Rudiments. Much more. Yeah. Um, yeah, much more. It's just... Uh, but that means it gatekeeped itself. It was brilliant, you see. That's why the thing is, I, I don't feel it did. Um, not, not necessarily agreeing or disagreeing with you on the virtues of gatekeeping, but <laughs> it's what it meant for me was that I never saw I never saw a solar auxiliary auxilia army ever. I saw a handful no. of quite clearly recast one. shit, you know, which was does nothing for me. But I've never seen a, a full on solar aux- auxiliary army, and I can't wait to see them now. Just like we said with Heresy 2nd Edition bringing in new blood and, and new mm. painters. Um, and this was so prevalent at the last uh, event I was at, just all these new faces and new armies. It's so exciting to think what we're going to see now with with the, the plastic solar. Um, it's going to be, yeah, John, you've got four of them boxes. Good lad. Good lad. Get another four on order. Four. Um, Amazing work. <laughs> and yes, Luke, 100%. Um, yeah, so it's it's... It's it's wild. It's absolutely wild, um, and I think they've done a great job on the design. I've been, we were obviously sent sent a box for for review, and I'm working on them right now um, for some videos. And a joy to build, you know, as most of the specialist game stuff is. I found, you know, very well laid out, um, very enjoyable to build. That goes together usually pretty, as you'd expect. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, this, this for me is the sort of, sh- I'm not saying Heresy needed a shot in the arm. For me, this is the shot in the arm uh, it needed to, 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 to really draw me. Uh, this is to, to draw me back in. It's nice to see the non the non Marines getting some love, and it kind of mm-hmm. makes you think what else will come for, for non Marine based things. Because I know there's lots of things in the novels from when I read the novels that we haven't seen, that we've never seen, really. Um, so I'm really intrigued to see. If that means that they might go down that road of, of other things, because obviously, I mean, and this might be completely off the mark, and you know, it might be complete nonsense. But you know, when in the novels that Eldar are still around, they're already a thing. They've been a thing yeah. for a really long time. Orcs, I'd love to see like the heresy take on them to see if it if it would be different. Yeah, there's um Andrew Hollis uh, and some chums of his in Australia produced some brilliant, brilliant fan made. Um, books for using things like Eldar uh, mm. and Orcs and whatnot in, in, in Heresy. Um, That's cool. So yeah, I think, I, I, I would be surprised you ever saw it from from the main mm. studio. But yeah, I think uh, that that kind of thing is, yeah, you're, you're right, it's cool. It's it's a different era of 40k, yeah. isn't it? It's just early, early 40k. But I think from regards from what we'll see from them, I mean, it, it, you'd have to assume Mechanicum is probably being worked on at the moment, I imagine. I would like to jump on those. Yeah. I think that would pull me back into heresy if they did Mechanicum because See, I always wanted to do them. For me, it wouldn't because I did Mechanicum the first time. I'm more inclined to do a Marine Army. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah, I'd rather I do. Mean, I'd yeah. rather do Solar and Mechanicum. It, I think it's interesting as well that we're not really seeing anything new when it comes to u- unit wise. We got we got the Kratos, didn't we, very early on as the tank and we've yep. got the two new sentinels for the mm. solar that are coming which are amazing <coughs> sorry excuse me um hi george and heather nice to have you nice to have you near first time live um but i think it's 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 they're showing how you can keep it interesting without having to constantly just have new things as it were stuff you've never seen before no you know just like the second edition of a game and let's be honest we've said this before as well 10 years for an edition of a game is pretty ridiculous you know um, it's it's high time for a second version of stuff. Um, I think that's that's plenty of plenty of time to give the first versions of of those those sculpts um, some time. But um, but yeah, you know your Thanatar, your Thalax, your your Castellax, all that would be would be lovely to see. But it, I think it would be very interesting. Be if, all over that if they if they go any further with say the demon stuff. Um, just I mean that announcement from Games Workshop wasn't there the other day about that new. Um, custodes character so we saw custodes the votan originally um <laughs> we saw the 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 custodes originally in 30k before we saw them in 40k and actually there were very few crossover 
uh, miniatures from those two ranges, bizarrely, um, s- smacked a little bit of of lack of internal communication or whatever. Um, but that again will be interesting to see. You know that 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 plastic forty k custodies range now is is pretty pretty broad considering it's just massive dudes in gold armor um it would be interesting to see if they do you chose prefer the, the heresy one so because i did it's the half Terminator and half really fantastic. there's bits there's bits i really like yeah. from both from both ranges um plastic bikes I, are cool i think most most people that i've seen are, are more than happy to just use the miniatures that they like and then stick them in the game system they play um, with, with the customers because they're similar enough aren't they they're not you know it's not they're not wildly different or anything um i hate it that's the worst army i ever played with they were awful <laughs> had a few games with them and, and just had to get rid of them because they just weren't fun yeah, just couldn't was, lose it was, was really really were, crap experience were, a, were an issue weren't they at, at, at yeah time for sure. i don't i don't ever miss playing those games <laughs> um matt i think we've got a couple more picks of the solar so obviously the tanks um, yeah, amazing. And some slight design tweaks. Uh, again, there's been some brilliant articles on community this last week from the designers. Really enjoying that they're they're talking to the designers more now about stuff. Um, but, the, you know, some tweaks they've made to the tank designs, the dozer blade, the hatches, stuff like that. Um, but also um, the, the, the big one for me is, is it's the infantry. Um, I think they've done a, a fantastic job of converting them to plastic. Mm. Um, I, I really do. Me too. I prefer um, them. As someone who's painted, I, I admittedly only three. I think I painted three resin ones. I converted them for a, a thing I did with Betsy. Um, they were fun, but they were very of the time. And the because of the resin, you know, the the detail was a little bit smushed in places, and mm. you know, it was almost too detailed for for what you could actually see. Um, having built yeah. a lot over the last week or so. Um, they absolutely fly together, um, the troops, um, which is what you want, right? If you're going to have loads of them, um, and I'd love them, love to again, do it's them, just, but won't get you know, to it's, it. it's they're they're lightweight, they're they're durable, they're you know, and and again, exciting. We've we've seen the odd new thing as well. There's there's a bunch of cool weapons uh, that we haven't seen before, like um, combat weapons for them. Um, you know, little bits like uh, the bayonets, which I think, even though they're plastic, are still probably going to break as soon as you look at them. Uh, but you you couldn't have done that in resin. Um, so that's a really fun little addition. Um, a lot of people actually looking at this picture. A lot of people have been wondering about the the magazines, whatever you call it, clips. I don't know what they are. The bits that go on the guns that have got the bullets in. Um, wondering why they're these these sort of long things or the revolver barrel so that long piece that's on there there is a piece you can stick over the like revolver barrel style um magazine or whatever you call it on there so you can either leave it off and just have it revolver style you can have those on uh, i might be completely wrong with this but i seem to remember in the old version they had different options for different last sorts of last guns they had like hot shot last guns possibly i mean the um if i'm right i might be wrong can't remember that. I mean, the rules have been out for these guys for for best part of a year, haven't they? Um, so, but yeah, yeah like what hot shot last guns <laughs> and things that, but... like that, right? Um, yeah, I don't know if it was hot shot, but I seem to remember that there was a like there was an option. Well, talk amongst yourselves because it's never exciting when you someone just i love the solar i want to do them but i won't (laughs) yeah it's another one of those things go on sorry i uh i really i think i saw one malkador painted in a preferred style because i think what's putting me off the tanks is all the metallic trim and it's really like it's a clean paint job and it's not what gets me going on the tanks so i think i want to see yeah, that's what I mean. So I just yeah. I want to see. Actually, what I really want is to see Ben do a Malkador in his color scheme because I think his color scheme is perfect. Mm. Um, so I can't wait to see him do a Malkador, and that will change my mind. I would I would do Solar one day uh, just to do some of those Ogrins, which I've owned six of for years. <laughs> so <laughs> I bought bought six ages ago because I love them so much. And uh, yeah, but a few more Can bits you... for Solar, and we'll see how it goes. 
Could you imagine if they do the um, the Ogrins in plastic? Yeah. Yeah, I almost. Uh, yeah, I'm not right. bothered because I've got six Absolutely. resin ones and they're Absolutely. ten out of ten. Yeah. So. I can't find anything yeah, to nice. do with different las las guns in there anyway. But, um, Somebody but, said uh, I was right. Charge packs apparently. Um, but yeah, the point being, they're cool bits that you can stick on or stick off if if you want, or leave on or leave off if you want to. So, um, uh, Andrew's yeah. just just put a good there point, in. and this is this is from a slightly sort of gaming point of view. It's like uh, a good game in Heresy is what two or three thousand points. Is is that kind of what? I mean, if if I believe three K is the what yeah. they say. The, the book thing is, I mean, I had a game at a thousand points uh, the other week mm. with my mates. We played on six by four, and it was a great game. Okay. So people are weird about points you know. games. So, like, people yeah. are like, it has to be 2,000. But have you tried 1500? No, no, no. It has to be 2,000. Why? Who are they in 40k uh, though? People, people won't, pay, won't play a thousand. That's what points I mean. In 40K. 40K. Yeah. No, it's but I, it is a fair point to say that they are still expensive. Absolutely, it's it is an expensive hobby. Um, mm. There are ways now. It, Heresy doesn't have a a low model count game yet. I would be amazed if it doesn't get one. Um, I absolutely can see them doing some kind of kill team esque uh, thing for Heresy. I, th I think it would be a be a great, you know, a, great. A, a great idea, but. Uh, you know, we're we're not really essentially coming at things from gamers. We're not massive gamers. We do all play, but not loads. Um, it, it, again, this is more looking at things from a from a painting and collecting, you know, point of view. Um, Matt, you've always been keen on the old really. tanks. Um, you getting any any lo loinal stirrings from well, things like the mouth? I have the the Kratos that's been sitting on my shelf since it's come out. <laughs> <laughs> World eaters, right, Matt? Oh, well, the thing is, I quite like the Death Guard now. Yep. So Matt. I can't really decide between them, green or blue. I mean, why not? Why not both? You can't tell the difference, so it don't matter. No, <laughs> just paint it black and white. <laughs> it's monochrome. <laughs> um, do um do uh, what you call it? The Lunar Wolves. Which People ones are those? Love that. The Sons of Horrors oh, before they were baddies. See, I've, I've been the lost on the whole. Dude. I've been lost on this whole thing. You're talking about marks, it's, I've got no idea what you're on about. <laughs> you're just sat there going, "Oh, Go look at all them all them. tanks that they're bringing out in plastic." That's, yeah, uh, that's I think, amazing. I think the Kratos <laughs> needs to happen. It's been sitting in that box too long. Yeah, I think that would be that would be super cool. Mm. Um, but no, I, I certainly like. I'd like to talk to Ben once he once he sorts out better than steam powered internet and doesn't have a. You know, a, a, a fucking children's karaoke mic sat in a warehouse levels of audio quality. We have to have a warning we'll, we'll to turn on. the volume down as well for everyone. <laughs> we will yeah. get him we'll out get of him Wales and it'll be fine. Um, but it's, yeah, it, it's it's this, the, I'd like to do an episode soon talking about sort of the, the human scale miniatures we're getting now, uh, or just the variety of them that we've got. Um, but I think the, the, the solar for me is a, uh, Again, it's I struggle to see anything bad about this release um, from point of view as a fan of of collecting and painting uh, in this universe and gaming, but, but but largely collecting and painting in this in this setting. Um, yeah, and uh, you know we've seen I think we've seen some of the Veltar Velataris units as well. Um, be very interesting to see what else uh, we do get from them. Uh, I know a lot of people. Pardon me. A lot of people sort of discussing uh, the fact that you, the little command squad that you get in this box, has bits to create essentially everything up from your line command up to your captain up to your sort of lord marshal level characters. Um, but when you compare it to, say, for instance, that incredible uh, resin command squad they brought out a few years ago, uh, well, more than a few years ago. Um, it, it isn't they aren't as exciting there's no two ways about that so it'll be very interesting to see if they bring that back into stock or whether we get um you know mm. whether Ola are gonna get resin characters and stuff just like the marines do i would have thought they would uh, you know it's, it's, like, it's, it's I, it, it, i'm constantly surprised at the level of support mm. they're giving age of darkness um so yeah i'm, I'm nothing but optimistic for it 
if, the if, sales if, figures if, are there right then they'll keep um, doing it yeah absolutely mm. that's the plastic don't talk yeah i know right um <laughs> one day eh? but <coughs> sorry excuse me <clears throat> so um I think I just just one more solar slide actually isn't there? That's nothing particularly exciting. God, that sounds mm-hmm. fucking to, sick to do with them. But yeah, they do look they do look great. And yeah, I'm a massive fan of the Sentinel. That'll be, oh, I love that'll be next week. All of them. Next week's video. Um, so yeah, super super cool. Um, so talking of Age of Darkness and that that support they're getting, I wanted to just bring up the Legion's Imperialist stuff because it feels like that directly contributes to it all. Um, not just in a sense of sort of populating um, the, the 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 visuals every week. There's something new for heresy, um, but it was fairly obvious, I think, for everyone that you know it was coming. Um, you know, oh, there's a new thing in plastic solo thing for Legions Imperialis. Oh, they suspect that's probably coming for for the big the big ones as well. Um, and I think they've they have more or less come out and said if it's in tiny scale it's going to be in big and vice versa so that is exciting um i think for me as well you know as a fan of the, the setting and all that the the loss of the the big black books from forge world you know it's been a long time really since we we had them certainly of the quality that was produced for the the earlier ones um i quite like the idea of you know whether it's an age of darkness one or whether it's a legions imperialis one you're going to be getting books to do with heresy um you know fa- fairly fairly regularly um and you know the great slaughter book which is the legions imperialis one um and the book that's coming out soon for 30k they're both talking about the same conflict um which is one that hasn't really been explored hugely outside of one novel um and that's super exciting for me um as, as a fan of the, the background um, like it is proper juicy important background not just like some random spurious fuck off planet somewhere that something's happening on um you know this was a this was a huge part of the heresy story that we never really got told much about um so yeah just want to and obviously i i love epic scale stuff so <laughs> you know i'm i'm happy about that anyway um the but, teeny uh, tiny tanks are the amazing. teeny tiny tanks they're just they're just perfection it's the um, most fun I've had painting in the last Yeah, you painted month. a predator, didn't you? You were yeah, saying? It's yeah. very, very fun. It's joyful, very right? Well. It's mm-hmm. genuinely joyful. Um, I just every morning I look over and I've got my, my Legion stuff steadily growing over on the side over there. Um it's just love it. Like and you can push them around and you know, make the little noises and just play planes around. Yeah, just don't get it. Just don't get the appeal. That's all right, mate. here's here's the appeal, mate. I built six Bane Blades in an evening. You know? Yeah. That's awesome. There's the appeal. I've, managed, I've, I've, I've got a Renegade Militia tank division sat on my shelf over there. The know, tanks for the, borrowers. I bet if you played a game, you'd tanks. like it. Thanks for borrowers. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, it's like, but then, you see, I was a massive fan of Micro Machines as a kid, mm. too. So that's probably yes, where yeah, it I was Yeah. I think that's where it... Uh, maybe probably, that's it, because yeah. I never play with them. So I don't give it... I just think they look little and weird. <laughs> so, what were uh, your favourite micro-machines, Henry? Oh, mate. <sighs> I mean, where'd you start? I didn't like any of the actual, like, the licensed stuff. I didn't care for for any of that. Um, but, oh, mate. And the game on the Amiga and the PC. That was, that, that was fantastic as well. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, I had the uh, I had toys. the racing game on Game Boy. That was mint. So one on Game Boy. Yeah, the the racing one. one. I don't remember the Game Boy. One. I remember it on 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 yeah. uh, the old, on, on desktop. And you're going across the school desks, and there's yeah. rule that yeah, this yeah, jumps yeah, yeah. made out of rules. Yeah, yeah, around the bathtub. Things like Did that, you yeah. have the the truck Top carry end. case? No, no. Now we were poor. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I did have. Incredible. Did they, Maybe they I've had concussion too many times, but all of this is just micro machines. Is it still a thing? Oh, I yeah. Bet they're, they're like a fortune on eBay now, aren't they? <laughs> I love the Star Trek ones. They were amazing. Especially see, the yeah, now cube. That, it was just a big that, dice. That had no, yeah, that had no real uh, appeal for me. I just like generic stuff. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, yeah, the, the mountain. I forgot about the mountain. The mm-hmm. They're just tiny little cars, aren't they? I'm not like having a no, stroke right. or anything. Yeah, that's exactly what they were. Yeah. Okay, just, cool. Just yeah, tiny little tiny cars. cars. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, but back to Ooh. McLaren F1. Um, yeah, so so uh, Legion's Imperialis as well, I think, is is doing nothing but adding value to the to the setting. Uh, and I, I would lump it in with, you know, Heresy Second Edition. I think they they support each other. Genie, so, Johnny, man. Um, I guess the last thing really to talk about is what's next. Um, you know, what do, what do we think? That's the Gogrin, so I can see him now. Yeah, tiny ones. There um, they are. God, there it just are. looks so good. He Love does it so it. much. Love the tanks so do. The tanks do. Yeah, I, just, love, I love the little tanks, but I the infantry don't do it for me. Um, a portable chess. You could have like a proper little table at thirty. You can play tiny, feet play on tiny forty. Yeah, tiny thirty k. Just magnetize individual. Yeah, the base of them. Yeah, exactly. Travel, travel thirty k. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as I said, I mentioned earlier the uh, the fact that obviously the book series has now ended uh, with the end of the death three. Uh, no spoilers or anything, um, but personally, I enjoyed it. I thought I thought it was a decent ending. I thought the author did as well as he he could have done. Um, you know, so that was a a positive. Does this uh, mean that for we me. can now read the books and not have to like continually? Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Obviously, um, no. Still How like... many is there in total? What was the final number? Um, Fifty-three. I think there was fifty mid 50s of the main novels and then you had about 10 of the siege series um but if you then include the sort of anthology books as well you know you're not a million 64. miles from like you know 80 90 books in total um if you throw in the primark books as well yeah you're probably not far off um, a lot of books but according yeah. to wikipedia it's uh, 64 published volumes there we go i remember i think it was there was dan abnett was on one of the it's in an interview somewhere, and when they were writing the original first one, it was never supposed to be this many books. No, no, no. that's why there's so like weird, like arcs and all this and that, and just like yeah, yeah just yeah. wing it. <laughs> um, speak hardly saying Luke APS and Tiny Forty K. Mate, go back to the '90s White Dwarf, and they made a they made a set that they took on a plane with them when they flew over to GD uh, GD US little portable travel Forty K. Uh, Travel for UK work. Um, so but yes, yeah, as, as, as the meme sort of goes in this, the, you, you did it, you defeated me, Horace Lupercal. You really are the Warhammer 40,000. Um, <laughs> it's done. It's, it's, it's done and finished. So what do we think? Yeah, what do we think we're going to see in the next year? You know, and this is just pure wish listy. you know. Uh, Mechanicum, dark yeah. Mechanicum. Yeah, Sisters of Silence in plastic, potentially. Do you remember the, the little Done that already. spaceship? Be yeah, nice to see them get uh, explored. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they were a, an army that had a ton of units that never got models. Mm. Um, do, do we do we think they will do, like, Legion-specific units? So, like, everything at the moment is generic, isn't it? So, like, yes. will they go back and they do Red Butchers, for instance, in plastic? In well, plastic, I don't, I don't think because so. then I'm fucked. But I do think I do think you'll get them redone. But, okay, so that's what I'm missing from Heresy. That's what I want is stuff like that because nothing's getting me that excited yet because I haven't got the the mark of armor I like. There's no special units that have been redone that I'm really into. So that's mm. that's what's stopping me from doing more of it. Um, what should I call it? Just Aaron stuff like that. But the the so with the resize of it all, I can't, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems a bit odd if they've resized a bunch of stuff and then they're just going to release the older ones, which are all like Reavers, for instance, are going to be tiny compared to their Mark III and Mark VI compatriots. Uh, unusable, yeah, mate. But I mean, that's, yeah, but that's where we are. You know, that's where we are. It's where we've been for the last few years. And, and to a degree, it's where we've been in other game systems as well when you have old. 40 yeah, you know, old ranges. I mean, you've got you still got the old Eldar Phoenix Lords, right? Sat next to I, you know, I, modern, modern things. I, I think it depends how, <laughs> yeah, I think it depends how uh popular it continues to be. If it continues to be as popular as it is and the game is really well received and it just does very well, I could see them redoing everything, redoing the, 
the Legion specific stuff. If it doesn't and it peters out, then yeah, I can see them just sort of having the core stuff that you can use generically for, for everything and not going too specific. I would love to I would love to see them go specific. I think that's and, and you know, Terminators, if they resize the, the heresy terminators, then yeah, I'm fucked and I'll probably start it tomorrow. I think you'll get a lot, mate. I think you'll get I think you'll get a lot. I think the Terminators are a given and I think you'll get new new takes on all the all the um Legion specific things, absolutely. Special men. Do you think Special we'll men. get an emperor model? No. Not for gaming. Hope not. Hope given not. that hope given not. that he's now appeared in a book properly. Yeah. Not just as a spoopy voice. <coughs> no. Um, I fucking Only really hope they don't. Does it. it it would be silly for them to do it, I think. It's yeah. Well on the chair. <laughs> no, it's well, anyway. It. Well, it, if they did, what's the really iconic? There's a really iconic artwork where it's just him and he's just cables and a skull, basically. Yeah. But no, I, d- I don't know. Maybe they will, but I, th- I agree with Andy. I don't think they should. Uh, we got a great it, piece of Emperor artwork, haven't we, Matt? Didn't I did. give you a slide of, of the one of, versus uh, Horus? Is beautiful spot on. bit of Adrian Smith Emperor artwork there. Look at that. Is that yeah. the Emperor? Yeah, yeah. That's very a uh, very old artwork. That one that gets me right. Looks like Marcus Aurelius. Turgid, that one. Um. um yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Exactly what uh, Jonathan Harmon just said. I hope not. He should never be seen. You see, I don't know now. Mm, like they I, could I do it though. You've got a bunch of artwork now. You've got him on the front cover of a bunch of books. You've got the iconic yeah. pictures. You've got amazing sculpture in Sam Egan. I I feel like that diorama. I wonder if they've been waiting for the fight, the end of the death, before we got it. Um, and I wonder if we see it as some big, I don't know, 250 pound diorama. Um, or they farm it out yeah, to wetter. Like the Hor- Horus yeah. Sanguinius one. Yeah, that 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 no, classic that away. classic, you know, um Horus up there, Sangi dead down there, Emperor at the stairs. That, oh, that vin- yeah, yeah. vignette or whatever you want to call it. Um I c- I could see it happening now. Um there's enough good art of him, isn't there, to like mm. not mess it up. I don't. I don't really, think you, yeah, you ever get him in game. Do I don't think there's any point in having me in game as a re. Well, you do. Beat I don't, everybody I don't think really adds just anything. No, I just use the game. Just mind when... bullet, kill everyone. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is yeah. about it. For me, I mean, for me, it's, it's, it's a bit of the like uh, the what's the word? Sorry, my brain's gone blank. Um, like mysticism of it like mm. i don't know for me i just i don't know why yeah. I, can't, I can't put my finger on it but i just don't Leave think you, you should ever see uh see him get rid of I'm, the, with, yeah. I'm with you to a point like i don't even like that you can play primark models but i, agree. I yeah. now now i i don't know i'm definitely in a different headspace with heresy now like i'm kind of trying to get behind the new thing and I, I wouldn't be mad. But as Matt said, as Weta, they've just leaked, didn't they? Or not leaked. They've just uh, shown a few sneak peeks of a Baden. I mean, that's going to be wow. Um, I mean, for, for my money, I think a Baden probably came out the best from the last three books. He, you know, he, he featured very heavily. It's quite set, sets him up for his role in 40k. Um, so you know, got a, got a bit of a chub on for a Baden at the minute. Realise that their Titus model. That they made for Wetter mm. is twenty four kilograms. It's huge, mate. Twenty four. Yeah, it's it's massive, isn't it? It's like it's in like what? Yeah. I'm not interested in it. that. That's silly. That's, it. It's, no, that's too big. I'd buy it if they didn't say you're responsible for import duties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the emperor. Yeah. Cool, so, huh? emperor, do you think think anything? I uh, say, so don't don't. Don't take it too seriously. This was literally just more of a. Uh, w- what would you love to see? You know, do you think we'll see that plastic thunderhawk? You know, do you do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I, I think wanna... we'll see a solar super heavy. I think we see the storm hammer in plastic. Yeah, I reckon. Oh no, I, I want a bloody fell blade. Um, oh yeah, we haven't That's had tough. the, the fell blades yet, mm. have we? All the glaves or the they've got it. One Surely yeah. they'll do those. Yeah, you'd have thought um, so, right? I'd love to see him, someone just put in a uh, Malkador, the signature light, or however you say it. Mm. I'd like to see him in plastic. That would be cool. But th- this one, talk about, like, I wonder whether it would be cool to have a character series that, you know how, like, Gilliman looks fucking daft on the table, right? But he's yeah. a lovely yeah. model. Yeah. In like, both 
in both uh, games. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, why not have a character series? Going back to what we spoke about a few episodes ago of them almost bringing back that that not for gaming miniature thing. Yeah, um, it'd, be, it'd be amazing. You could, they you know, do that. Uh, people would love. I think would love to see like a John Grammaticus model. Yeah, that would be um, amazing. Actually, yeah, the, the new book that's coming soon for 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 30k we, we're going to see a bunch of characters and models from them um, we're going to see medicine obviously we've seen tibalt ma we've seen endrid ha um you know it, i think it would be cool to to see some of these these proper characters if it's um, if it's not for gaming then it would it would have to be farmed out to someone else because they won't do it it's true they um, don't really care about gaming don't they it's because mm. the biggest uh yes. the biggest selling point it's a shame, though. I would, I'd love to see like a Malkador and stuff like that. Too. I mean, like, now that yeah. they've finished this thing, the thing that I want to see, I want to see all of the really dull stuff. I want a whole book about just the administratum, just oh, going yeah. through their processes, all the yeah. cogitators, yeah. the spreadsheets. Just, yeah. oh, that would be amazing. Do that. <laughs> yeah. The emperor's accountant. I know. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's a, I can't remember which is in one of the early siege books. It's fucking chapters and chapters worth of this bloke run, literally doing that, Matt, running oh, through the... He gets yeah. a message in that he doesn't think he probably should have heard, and he runs. And there's basically... There's there's caves and mountains within Terra that are made of piled-up paperwork, and people live and die within them and carve yes. them out, and they live within it. And, like, they'll find, like, you know, these precious old receipts, tax receipts <laughs> from, like, whenever, and they'll be worth, like, you know, your firstborn son and, and all exactly. the rest of it. Yeah. You thrive, you thrive in that, that environment, <laughs> mate. I think you're <laughs> you're born for it. Uh, yes, yeah, Steve Ascalon would be awesome for the Blood Angels. I'd love to see um, what they're going to do with the the Sanguinary Guard and stuff like that. Because I think I'm assuming when Need Blood Angels get their forty, well, I was going to say, presumably when they get it for forty k, they'll be primarized, and yeah. that would leave it very open then for us to have a nice looking, you know, thirty k version of them. Um, got to be able to get you know, them and right. then they play a big part in 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 the latter stages of the of the heresy storyline as well. Um, and to, yeah, to a degree, the whole beta Garmin thing as well. So I think I think that could be pretty exciting. Um, plastic sabers, lands, but yeah, just everything we've got in plastic, obviously. Um, yeah. But anything new? Anyone? It's no? going to be interesting to see what they really do because, like, the heresy stuff has been around for. I mean, it's what? When did this book start coming out? 16 years ago. 16. That's like. 2012, is it? It's a long time. It's a very long time. I read it. There's people in this hobby that weren't born when the yeah. book started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah when, I, when I looked up how many books. Still it feels was, new. It still said feels a thing. Like it's just started. Well, the 90s are 16... only 10 years ago, weren't they? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't. After 16 years, 63 books, and 26,881 pages, that's what you're going to get through if you want to read all the horror stories. There we go. It's a lot. Yeah, when did audio. the first miniature come out? Was that 2012? Well, we got we we what got a few of the mar armor marks before Heresy came out. Yeah, it was the Badab test, though, wasn't it? Yeah, Badab was test for Heresy. But what um, was the first Horus Heresy branded miniature? Was it Angron? It was Angron, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. What year was that released? Yeah. 2012 mm. ish or 11? Yeah, I reckon 11, maybe. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I mean, we, we've still got quite a few years of them cranking out models before they probably run out of things to kind of really do. <laughs> Mate, I, I think honestly, if 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 they'll never run 40K, out. If if forty k continues the way it's going with its background story and stuff now, I I don't think you see the back of heresy. I think it's I think it it, it gains even more validity mm. as a as a separate setting. Um, so yeah, good times. Right, feels like that's come to an end with those chats, but. I think you know personally, I'm I'm a, a big fan of where Harris is at aesthetically. Uh, I think it was a challenge initially, um, but I think as we're as we're getting less and less of that hybrid style, um, you know, visually with the miniatures, I think it's it's just cool and cool. That's not to say the Heresy armies that you see that are all the first gen miniatures still look brilliant. I think it's just as soon as you put one of the new ones next to it for me it throws me out yeah same mm. i like him separate yeah uh, separate fab like angron was 12 years ago that it? 2012 mm. andre go. just said that horus rising came out in 2006 mm. Mm. wow yeah a good year yeah 
<laughs> I hadn't left secondary school. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Oh, wait, hold on. How old are you, man? We don't give away uh, personal information online. Uh, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> let's have a, let's close it. Let's close it out there um, and have a look at what the paint cult is. Still got yeah. your. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed that. Your oh community stuff. Community. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Um, so uh, I just asked the guys if they, there was anything particularly for Second Dead Heresy that they they'd enjoy community wise. Um, so I mentioned this account. Uh, last show i think it was or the one before uh with those gargant models um and it's just a group of mates over in finland um that hobby and uh, they do loads of brilliant heresy stuff and i think the reason it resonated with me so much was i one of the reasons i dropped off heresy really was i i found the the, the louder voices and the more visible personalities in the the online heresy scene um just became not my cup of tea they 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 kind of put me off um you know the the the, the hobby to, to to a degree um and at the time i didn't have a like an in-person hobby group um okay since the move a few years ago now i've got this wonderful uh group of mates that that, that, were, that play all the different systems and they love heresy um and for me that has been the the absolute key to getting me back in was just having that little group of mates to talk about talk about it with and get excited with and and enjoy what each other's doing uh and and, and drive it on and, and these guys say go and follow this account over on instagram they are just an amazing example of it of like a supportive hobby group and the stuff they create as a collective is just amazing um for for fantasy and for for heresy so yeah that was my kind of pick go and check the account out there's there's tons tons of stuff uh, over on there um and rich i think you had uh a couple didn't you yeah so um this account we featured a couple of times on the show for i think it's been a pics of mine for for a little bit but it's yeah we definitely that just, had that night haven't we before I remember yeah that. yeah uh it's just it's one of those accounts that i just absolutely love every time i see it come up i think i've got it as one of my notifications so when they post something yeah, it nice was a notification <laughs> so that i always just go and have a look because they just do the best hobby it's like it's so well thought out the painting style and level I think is perfect for, for armies. Yeah. Um, and they make everything personal. So for instance, with the death guard that they did, they changed the helmets for literally all of them. So they 3d print this 3d sculpted and printed all their own helmets for, for everything. So just wow. to, it makes their army just ever so slightly unique. Mm. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's one of my favorite projects that I've watched because he, he's got this and then he's also got a mechanical army as well, which has got lots of night horn bits in it as well and lots of 3d printed bits in it as well um and i for me <clears throat> one of my like hobby bucket list things is to have is to have like a, a marine army that is very uniquely mine and something that i'm very proud of and for me this is like the perfect example of what that could look like um and i just absolutely. think it's, a, it's just such a great army absolutely. But all the stuff that they do is great all yeah. their armies kill teams everything is just shit hot yeah big time big time um some of the guys say in the chat um yeah there's don't get me wrong there's still amazing people that were around in the first edition of heresy that are still around uh, and the names you've mentioned there i absolutely agree with you there's they're brilliant hobbyists lovely people uh, and all the rest of it um it's just uh yeah not 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 wasn't tarring everybody with the same brush uh, with that you got another uh, picture of this one haven't you rich another one from this uh, i think it's the next army yeah so that's his mechanical we've, army. we've definitely seen this before yeah um wicked take on mechanicum yeah um because they've used i don't think they're in this picture no they're not haven't they used a bunch of the night haunt stuff yeah um, for stuff yeah really yeah. really cool really and i just just a lovely take on on yeah just absolutely just fab Every, everything that they do is they're like my hobby hero like every time i see someone like oh, i wish yeah. i'd come up with that idea or i wish i'd painted that yeah nice nice and again that's that's what's exciting i think for me is it's the setting i love and and seeing new takes on it that mm. don't have any baggage um yeah you know also their and, photos yeah. are just amazing yeah. <laughs> like the little setups with all the, the containers and stuff is just oh, uh, outstanding effort, photos right? yeah absolute uh, effort absolutely it's a ton of fun too um mm. making a little yeah making little vignettes and stuff to do um right so i've just seen the time um let's have a look at the paint cultist sorry that one went on a lot longer than i expected it to but i hope you guys enjoyed that chat um about it all it felt you know just surprised me we were two years in um so uh 
Yeah. Well, Paint I can't cultists. believe the Land Grant is 25 years old. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that right. just took me back when I found that out today. <laughs> Uh, hashtag paint cot is so you've got the hashtag over on Instagram. I've got 30 something thousand, 33,000, I think, something like that now. Um, and then you've got the channel over on the Discord as well. If you're not an Instagram fan, um, yeah, if you finish some work, if you fancy following a tag just to check out stuff that might be painted in a different style to that you're used to, or from a different system, or maybe a different scale of miniatures, you know, large scale busts, that sort of thing, um, it's just a great fun one to go and check out. And all I do is pick a few of them. Um, that I've seen over the last couple of weeks that have jumped out to me and chuck them up um, for us to ogle at and, you know, celebrate, for want of a better word. Um, so what we got, Matt? Oh, I loved this. Yeah. Loved this. That's great. There's a rugby player. What a yeah. fucking great idea. I don't think I've ever um, seen a rugby player in miniature before. Mate, I just, just going back to what we were talking about, I mean, I suppose it's ever so slightly conflict-based, but you know what I mean? Like non-conflict miniatures, I just love it. Mm. Um, as usual, I've completely forgotten the stories and stuff people have written underneath to explain the miniature. Um, but there's this one was definitely good, and there was a bunch of chat, a uh, bunch of chat around it. Um, thanks to me, mate. Looking forward to catching up uh, next month at the, the Heresy Weekend. Um, but yes, such cool. Like, I I don't know. We saw it, didn't we? Mark Masklan's um, MMA fighter as well. Mm. Um, I just think that opportunity to paint bruised, bruised skin is is maybe appealing to people at the minute. Um, there's a different way. Eric of doing it. did what a version of that uh, with a black eye, and it's phenomenal. Yeah, right. It's super good. Um, so, yeah, it's just they're in, they're it's in the just chat as well. great. Like, oh, are they? Oh, and that's yeah. awesome. Ross. Um, nice well one, Ross. Ross. Um, Ross, is this a conversion or is this a, a, a one-off? Or is it, what's the, what's the deal? Uh, I don't know, but... Uh, Great. It's very yeah, cool. It's mega. It's absolutely it's mega. Nostalgic. Um, right. It appears to be in the Irish uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Catch you soon, mate. Um, right. What's next? What's up next, bud? Ooh, oh, sorry. Cool. Apologies. Uh, yeah, I mean, seeing a few of these trickle out now from people, mm. uh, I, I'm surprised actually how many I'm seeing. People, pe people are really enjoying painting them, um, and it's that's lovely to see. Does it um, feel like they kind of flew under the radar a little bit, or am I imagining it? I don't know. I do wonder no, if they definitely they... didn't fly under the radar. <laughs> I don't know if stuffs again. Stuff suffering a little bit from that. Is what do you mean? This is new. Not I wasn't being in stock. Out. Wasn't this out years ago? Yeah, or yeah, it isn't in stock. I think there's a there's an element of that. Maybe it's um, just new model fatigue that I've got, or it's just like possibly. it's just like new every every two minutes. Possibly, I've certainly enjoyed doing some of the some of the Dark Angel stuff. But yeah, the the new Deathwing Knights uh, kit. Uh, yes, I say seeing a few people doing some really pushing themselves on it, and it's um yeah, it's nice. It's good to see, eh? Um, and obviously, mm -hmm. Dark Angel, so it's amazing. So it's a, con mm -hmm. it's a conversion. It was the Minotaur bust from Hera. That rugby. That's a great conversion. Player. So yeah, great work. Good work, mate. Bring that along to MPO. That'd be lovely. Uh, right. What's up next, Matt? Ah, oh, here's, here's another miniature we yeah. featured from a company a little while ago. Um, again, I'm seeing lots of people paint, which is lovely. Um, it's just it's so as you know as, as a manufacturer of a you know, small manufacturer of, of larger scale miniatures. It's lovely when you see a contemporary produce one that that is like commercially successful, right? Because mm -hmm. it's pretty fucking rare, um, you know, outside of a, a niche bunch of people that may not even share their stuff. Um, mm -hmm. It's been really nice to see this this old dragon and noodles, uh, whatever it's actually called. Um, but I must have seen yeah five or six of these now, um, which is yeah, which is super cool. Um, just looks fun to do right it does right mm. that's that's okay as well to have, just have a bit of fun um, with, with your painting yeah i forget uh, that sometimes <laughs> um, <laughs> it's important though right i mean i haven't spoken <laughs> about the fox the blood bowl fox um that, that nearly reduced me the to the badger tears. dude but we'll talk about i so say let's just keep keep focus keep focus we'll surprise you about. didn't pick the uh the but, duck yeah. either i i it's, give it, give it the time. The badger's the best. Come on, give it, give it time. Um, right, what's up next? 
Oh, right. Oh, yes. I suspect we're going to be seeing a fuck ton of crew Don't show Rich. over the next few months. Um, this is Harry, one of our uh, commission painters who has just proper leveled up his game the last few months. Uh, and he's been working on some crew. Uh, I'm booking him in himself. <laughs> uh, he's going to be doing a bunch of the new stuff as well uh, for you guys to take a look at. But I think he's just, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just fucking great. Like the skin on the, the colour. The amazing crew as well. Hand. His whole take on them. <coughs> he's just nailed it. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's unique, but it's not overly challenging. It's beautifully executed. I, I think it's just brilliant. Brilliant, and I'm not just saying that because he's he's one of ours. Um, you know, it's it's it's. I great. really want to do some crew. It's, it's great. Um, so yeah, do one, Richard. One, you're allowed to do one. <laughs> yeah, don't pretend. I mean, don't pretend you're going to do an army of them. Maybe I'll do a kill team. We we'll talk about crew hopefully next episode because I think will they be out then? Yeah, I can't right. remember. Have they shown them yet? I can't remember. Yeah. This is what I mean. Are they? Yeah. Right, they're not out yet, but they've been shown. They've been shown. Have we seen an army box of them yet? Yeah. Yes, we've seen pictures of them. Yeah, they've shown pictures. Out. Right. Soon. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that will be out soon. Um, I do not know if it will be by next episode, partly because I don't know when we record. Um, but uh, it's got to be soon, surely. We. I feel like we've seen Croup for fucking months now. Um, mm. Yeah, we'll see him soon. Uh, right. Any more? Matt? One more. Oh, yeah. Oh, this. Just oh, wow. Cool. That's a what, really cool idea. Just what a clever person. That's wicked. Amazing. How good is that? Like, very, that's very, such very, a good very use cool. of models. It's, it's yeah. just, and stripy trousers, obviously. So, automatically 11 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is going to go in the underworlds because it is underworld, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This These miniatures. I yes, hope yeah. the girls in the underworld category for Golden Demon, because then that's like a proper so. good entry for the category, mm. right? Absolutely. Like, this yeah, is what you so. can do with an underworld's warband. That's mega. When, yeah, when you think about it a little bit. Mm. That's just, yeah. This is proper. Proper got me, this one. Yeah, um, that's a really, really great That's fantastic. It's Fair all about right. the ideas. That's ideas, it. man. Yeah. yeah. Gotta have the ideas. Ideas, man. <laughs> So that is just a tiny little snippet uh, of the paint card stuff there is. So uh, if you'd like to get in touch with us, if you've got any ideas for future show topics, I mean, use the Discord channel that says discussion topics, probably that's probably the best one, but you can get hold of us at all the usual places. Uh, you've got videos from us each week on YouTube. You've got videos over on Patreon. You've got all the rest commissions, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, all, all with Cult of Paint, <laughs> but we... Um, yeah, we very much appreciate all the support you guys are giving us. I uh, say so we'll talk about MPO again soon. Um, those of you that are on the waiting list, uh, hopefully got some good news for you. Uh, just need to get one thing confirmed. Um, but uh, yeah, we're looking very much looking forward to seeing you uh, all there. Um, guys, is there anything else you wanted to mention before we go? Not no? yet. Adeptcon episode soon? Yeah, not long, eh? Might be. We might squeeze one in. Might squeeze one in before we go. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. It's the um, night before I go, so it depends if I finished or not. <laughs> you can just be paying, <laughs> paying on camera. You'll be all right. Um, uh, if you're yeah, watching well, this, right. I'll minute, do that then. Hit that, uh, hit that thumbs up and stuff. And if you're watching it back, hit the usual like, subscribe, share, all the rest. It does make a massive difference to a little channel like ours that only grows sort of organically and through the work that you guys uh, do on our behalf. So we massively appreciate uh, all of that. So chat as ever you're amazing thanks ever so much take care we'll see you next time